What's going on there? Are you about starting your business? Really? Because there is a big difference between starting a business and starting a hustle. Most of you want a business that provides hustle-like results. Let me explain. Hustles are instant money. You can go on Craigslist, you can go on eBay, you can go on Amazon. You make money within a week. Craigslist, mere hours. And this is what people are looking like for that quick, that quick, quick, quick money. However, starting a real business, I had a consult today. It takes planning, execution, and long term planning because one of the things that happens with my consults is I typically will recommend the best course of interest, the best pathway, which may not be the quickest pathway. And this is one of the things that you've got to understand. If you live long enough, you'll be old, which means this time is going to pass. So let me say, so because I know some of you are going to be like kind of losing it. Right, that jet's pretty low. You're looking at a two to three year journey. Let's talk about content marketing. Making money on the internet. You got to put out a lot of content, typically for a long time, before you start to reach traction. I saw this conversation on my Facebook page. I didn't know that the Joe Rogan podcast was like well over 10 years old. He had been doing it for a long time before it took off. And this is one of the things that happens with content marketing. You put out content, you put out content, you put out content, then one day it takes off. But usually this is going to be after you put up a ton of content. Because one of the things that you should understand is it could be faster to make money in the real world, depending upon your business model, than it can be to make money online. Everybody wants to make money online. And once again, there's this thing called passive income. All right. <clears throat> I've had passive income. My best year passive income was $107,000. This was the year I was doing a lot of consulting. And I had, you know, a lot of money coming in from the consulting so passive income is usually the byproduct of active income. You might be able to get into high level stocks, high level real estate where you can get some passive income, but typically it's going to take you a lot of time, energy, and money to set up this passive income. Typically, this is one of the things because, you know, real estate, you get the rent, that's monthly passive income. You don't really do anything except own the property. But how much money do you have to put down? How much debt do you have to get into? That's a lot. So one of the things that I want to explain to you guys, the difference between a business and a hustle is a business is going to have long-term prospects, long-term money. If you're getting into a hustle like Craigslist, I was able to turn my hustles into full-time income. I made money off Craigslist for well over 12 years. And notice I was making money off Craigslist even though I was out the business because I was still hustling on Craigslist when I was doing YouTube because, you know, it was just easy money. I used to buy MacBook Pros, Mac and you know, Apple computers and resell them on Craigslist because I knew, you know, I knew the product, knew it very well. So I was able to make roughly about eight to twelve thousand dollars per month doing that just on my local Craigslist. But once again, I'm the hustling godfather. I got those kind of skills. And only, you know, like probably the last few years have I gotten away from resale hustling because I am putting most of my focus on my learn long term business model, which is going to be education. So this is uh, like I got a 10 year plan to educate you guys on the multitude of many things. And this is where my energy is going, because I got to admit, 
For a long time, I was still halfway in the hustle world, the resale world, and I really just came out of that the last few years where I can actually go to a mall and spend 80, 90, 100 bucks for a shirt and not flip out. I mean, the first time I was like, good Lord, this, this, this shirt is 100 bucks. If I was buying a storage unit, I'd get a storage unit get over a war, war, wardrobe for this. And this, this was my thinking for many, many years, and I, I've just come out of it. So one of the things that you have to understand is, you know, watch my video. You're getting older and poor. You're going to live a long time, and you're going to need money for a long time. And you get on this path of starting a long-term business model you're going to start get to a point where you're going to make comfortable income. You know, you may not be a millionaire, but you have enough money to pay all your bills, save money, have more money coming in. And that's comfortable. And that's the first stage. I remember when I got comfortable. I was living in that house in East Point. Had money coming in, money in the bank. I was comfortable. If I wanted to spend some money on something crazy, not a problem. I had money coming in and replace it. I wasn't rich, wasn't wealthy, but you must get financially comfortable before you get wealthy. See, that wealth thing, that's usually a plan of long-term execution because right now I'm working on the wealth plan. I've been making big money for a long time. Now it's time for me to stack up on some assets and create even a larger asset because I'm getting ready to do a lot of different and wild things here. And I've got a 10 year plan on it. So, cause typically, you know, one of my frustrations was I would do something and it just wouldn't work out quick enough. And I already had this thing over here that was working. So I got frustrated. So what I'm going to do in the future is stick with the slow moving long term business prospects. And that's one of the things you've got to do because you're looking for those quick, 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 quick results. And that's a problem. My peoples, success is often ugly and slow. Going back to the Craigslist protocols, let's go back to the Craigslist marketing plan. Took me 90 days of trial and error to figure that out. I was having a little success over here, a little success over there, but it still took me 90 days. And one of the things that you know, being in business and executing has taught me is how to stick with certain things, how to stay the course, how to keep pushing, how to keep making it rain, how to keep it happening. And one of the things I want to share with you guys is you're going to have to get some more tenacity. It ain't going to work out real quick. And But see, the thing is, I want you to think about this in terms of the span of your life. Let's say you're 25 years old right now. There's a good chance you could live to be 100 with uh, the modern medical advances. So you're looking at 75 years. So if you were to take four or five years out of those 75 to shape something up durable, then the rest of those 70 years are going to be comfortable. Or you might be living in a lap of luxury. You might be a Lambo yacht buying dude. I want you to think about that. Look at how long you're going to live. Because every time I mention this three, four, and five years, people be like, ah, oh, Glendon. Man, I ain't got no time. I ain't got time for that, man. I'm like, I got, I'm, I'm like, I need my money now, man. I need my money now. Yeah, you want your money now, but you're going to need your money now when you're 65 and you need surgery. And once again, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I live in a wealthy neighborhood and I noticed that the old people around here are different. They're in better health, they have more resources, and they're living their best lives. Because there was this one lady, I saw her from a distance, I was like, oh, baby girl, kind of fine. She got close, and I realized that this woman had to be, she looked to be late 50s, but I had a feeling that she's older than that, 
but she was well preserved. She was in good shape. She was eating that good organic food. And I'm trying to tell y'all, by putting together this long-term business model and taking three to six years to get it shaped up, the rest of your life could be good. I mean, like, once again, I mentioned this. I was flat on my back in the hospital. Heart attack, stroke, massive confusion. I ain't lose nothing. I mean, I was just having a conversation with a friend the other night. There are many people that that same event would have taken out. Their car would have got repoed. They would have been evicted. They would have lost a house because they couldn't work. Didn't happen to me because I have a business. And uh, something else I've noticed. A lot of wealthy people live a long time. Eating that organic steak, that grass-fed steak, those organic vegetables, drinking that fine spring water. See, what I'm trying to paint for you is the results and what happens after you put this together because, you know, I know it's long, but the, the time is going to pass. Because a lot of y'all are still in hustle mode. I want to hustle. I need that money now. Because you don't know you don't need how you don't know how to manage your money. Get the money management course. So you can learn how to manage your money. Set your money up nice. Have your money acting appropriately. So when you add more money, when you come out there like, hey, come on here, dollar bill, dollar bills, then the money comes in there and it starts acting properly. And this is how you get rich. And you need to get rich before you get wealthy. And wealthy is having assets. Uh, some of you could have a business and that, <clears throat> that asset right there by itself can support you and yours well. Because what's the thing? With your business, you got to watch your debt levels. Currently, my business has a business loan. But I didn't need that loan. I just took it out and I'm paying them back with their own money. And I'll pay a little interest. But once again, I am not in unbearable debt. I'm not in bone crushing debt. I don't have that situation. The business doesn't have that situation. So I want you guys to understand. I want you guys to understand and know that you can build a long term business model that can feed you and your family if you would let the hustle mentality go. Because one of the things everybody's like, I don't need to hustle. I need something quick. Yo, you know, I, I remember those emails I used to get about the storage auction business. You know, hey, Glendon, what do you got? You know, I need to make three to $5,000 a month. need to make it in the next 60 days. What do you got? Understand that these people were looking for these type of rapid results because they needed these type of rapid results because they weren't stable. So one of the first things you need to do is get yourself financially stable. Might meaning that might mean you drive a 1991 Honda Accord that's paid off. That may be the ticket to you being financially stable. That mean you may have a roommate or two. That may be the ticket to you being financially stable. But you got to get financially stable so you can breathe. Because some of y'all living so tight you can't even breathe. You sitting there shallow breathing because you're so stressed out. You got all these bills, you got a car note, mortgage, credit card payments, student loan payments, uh, credit union loan payment. You got all these payments and you, you just so tight that you, you can't breathe. You're just breathing like an obscene phone caller. Remember that from back in the day when people answered their phones when they didn't know the number? You know, it's funny. I remember... When the phone would ring, you would answer it because you didn't know who was calling. I remember phones before call ID. It's crazy. But anyhow, you guys got to get yourself financially solvent so you can breathe, so you can build. Because I know many people feel that they can buy some Bitcoin and outpace their debts. Like I'm 